Hi guys, so today I'm doing another Pint My Nails With Me video. It's been a while since I did one of those, but Diana from Some Call Me Coco just recently did one of those and she was like, Joy, you should do one. So I was like, yeah, there's no reason not to. So here I am. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything fancy today. I just have my nail polish pinted yesterday. I'm gonna remove that and just put on this new polish from Color Infinity. This one is a, um, I think April pre-order and the color is called Rainbow Lorike, right? I know it's a bird name and I don't know nothing about birds. So I'm gonna try that out and I probably would use a peel off base coat. So I'm just gonna go about doing my normal nail care routine. And the few things I will be using would be, you know, nail polish remover right here. So this one is from Zoya, it's a remove plus. And also I will be using a hand lotion. This one is also from Zoya. I just got it. I really, really like it. So this is intense total hydrating therapy. This lotion is like really moisturizing and also not greasy at all. It's probably the most non-greasy hand lotion I have used. And what else am I going to use? I'm going to use cuticle oil today. And this one is from Butter Linden and it's the handbag holiday cuticle oil. I think that will be it. That's a few things I'm gonna do now uh, as far as removing my nail polishes and taking care of my hands. And let's just chit chat. All right, I turned on the light because I feel it was a little too dark. Um, hopefully this works better, but you can see some shadows here. Anyways, um, the polish I have on my nails right now is this one, Sayuri, is that how you say it? Um, this came from the April polish pickup. Uh, it's called Moonbeam Dreams. It's a good one. It, it's really cute and pretty, but it's a little bit like slightly textured. I can feel the bumpiness. I'm usually just not a big fan of any bumps on my hands and well, I mean this one is not bad by any means, but it's a really pretty polish. It's just this like mauve purple kind of shade with a lot of golden flakies and shimmers inside. It does look really delicate and yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's a good one. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos before that we're moving soon in, what, like three weeks now? Well, as I'm filming this, I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but I'm, I'm like totally dreading. I just don't even feel like packing and I don't know what it is. Like, me and my husband, we're almost like professional movers. We move so much and um, I think especially for him, uh, even like before we got married, I think he said something like he hasn't lived in the same place for more than 18 months since like 2005. That's like pretty crazy if you think about it. I wouldn't call myself a minimalist or anything like that. Um, well, just think about how many nail polishes and makeup I have, right? But I think we are pretty streamlined with our life. Like we don't, we don't have like a closet for storage or anything like that. You know, we live in a one bedroom apartment. So what we have is, what happened to this? What am I trying to do? <laughs> uh, so what we have is what we use and we really don't have anything that's just like sitting there um and because we're so good at moving now and we kind of know how to pack and we can do it kind of fast and quite honestly i do enjoy moving too well not this time but before because i really like changes i like to experience different lifestyles and living in different cities and whatnot so you know we've lived in like the um far away from city just single family home kind of style and a lot of space and whatnot and we've also lived uh like on the 46th floor of of a building and it's like a one bedroom apartment you know so we've tried it all i feel and i i think the reason why I do not look forward to this move this time is probably because the direction we're going. So right now we're living in a um, one bedroom apartment with our daughter. She's almost two and we live like in the middle of the city. In a way like we're in a high rise building, we got everything in our building. Like you want dry cleaner, it's in the building. 
there's a grocery store in the building. Um, you know, like everything is just within. You want a gym, you want the pool, it's all in the building. And of course, there's like tons of options of everything within walking distance. I, we lived uh, around in this area for about two years without having a car. It's just absolutely unnecessary. Public transportation is great, tons of restaurants, parks, just everything you could think about. I loved it. I honestly love this style of living. I don't mind so much of the crowdedness, honestly, or the noisiness. It bothers a lot of people, but I don't mind that. Um, and also it's it's easy like when we had our house something breaks down we have to like deal with it ourselves we're not handy by any means um, so I'll we you know always hire someone to do things but here right now it's like even if our light went out you know I make a call downstairs and they come up to change the light bulb it's like simple like that so I, I really enjoy the convenience of all living in the city um, but it is expensive, you know, it's very expensive. That's the reason why we only have this one bedroom apartment too. And our daughter's almost two. <laughs> if you've had a toddler, you know they require a lot of room. Um, they need space to run around, they are active, they have a lot of toys, they have a whole lot of like accessories, you know, uh, just things to, to live a life with. We're moving like a little bit further. Um, <laughs> it it's even sounds like funny because when I talk to my in-laws, they live um, in California where, you know, things are expensive, but there's still a lot of land. Um, we talk to them and they're like, oh, so how far are you moving? We're like, oh, we're still in Chicago. It's just far away from the city now. And they're like, how far is that? So I like went on Google Maps, try to figure out, you know, the, the actual miles and stuff. I think it was something like five miles from where we are now. It sounds funny, like five miles in California is like nothing. You barely just made out of your neighborhood. <laughs> but here, um, it sounds like a big deal. It's already like five, six neighborhoods over. So it's quite different of a style of living, but it seems like it's more family friendly. We're gonna have a townhome, has like three bedrooms and you know, it, it just, maybe life will be easier, I feel, but at the same time, it's just like, gosh, I, I love the city. Um, I know one day, when the day comes, when our children are in school and whatnot, or in college, I mean, I know we will be one of those old couples that move back to the city. <laughs> it's just what we like. Um, sadly, we couldn't afford that right now. Um, wish I make more money, right? To to get the kind of lifestyle that you really want to have, but eh, something has to give. So now I'm gonna apply some lotion and do my cuticle oil. Um, it's very simple, like I don't do anything fancy, it just, you, you'll see, like this is how I do it. Not on a daily basis, but every maybe two, three days. So where were we? Uh, move, right? So I just, Oh, there's another part that's like really tough now. Um, all the other moves that we had before, um, my daughter wasn't an issue. Like last time when we moved, she was a baby. She didn't even crawl yet. So, you know, she wasn't causing me any trouble. But now I leave a box like half packed in the middle of the room and I try to toss more things in there. Before I can like toss more things in, she's already emptied the box. Like I, I can't just take like two, three days and pack and be done with it anymore, you know? I have to like take a break because my daughter needs a diaper change or she needs a snack um, or it's really time for her to eat or otherwise she's gonna be hungry and grumpy. So things like that, it just it slows me down a lot. I realize I can't pack like 30 boxes in a day anymore. Um, two, three boxes in a day if I'm lucky. So. <laughs> I'm taking it really slow and uh, who knows I just I don't know guys like I'm not I'm not really feeling this move I just I'm dreading I haven't contacted movers and I haven't contacted utility and everything uh, it's such a pain
So what I do is just to put cuticle oil on all of my cuticles and then I will just use my nail to kind of like push it back a little bit. I don't really bring out my tools or anything. Very, very rarely I would do that. Um, but usually I just kind of push it back and then also scrape it a little bit. If there's any extra, um, I would just use my nails to like scrape it back off, you know, and then I push and then scrape. So that's, that's pretty much what I do. So yeah, I think other than moving, um, oh, this time we're also using movers. We, we have used movers um, when we had the bigger moves and after doing that, we just realized how much easier it is. And those guys are like so good. So we can never look back on having friends to help anymore. Just, yeah, movers all the way now. Uh, <laughs> If you could afford it, you should really try them out. They're so easy. Like a lot of things you don't even need to pack anymore. Um, our closet, they come in, like everything that's hanging, we don't need to pack it. They'll just come in and they have those kind of things. They'll just grab all of them and then put them on a like a rack that rows. They'll row that rack all the way to your new apartment and then just put them out right on your shelf again. So it's like you saved yourself packing and unpacking um, in your closet. And a lot of the things like, you probably don't even need to take them out of the drawer. You know, like they wrap everything up nicely and they're super fast. And, and also for us, since we live in a high rise building, there's a lot of like other stuff that we have to deal with. I have to reserve an elevator. We have to reserve the loading dock. We have to, um, you know make sure we don't damage the hallways or anything like that and then the movers they take care of that too they show up even with a camera they'll take pictures of the hallway of you know anything that they would touch and then so that they have a record that nothing's damaged by our move um i just i love that um yeah, I really need to book a mover now. All right, I think now my cuticle is pretty nice. I just kind of rub it in a little bit. Um, today, I think I applied cuticle oil a little bit heavy handed. Sometimes I don't even remove it anymore. I just go right into nail polish. I, but like that's really bad for the longevity of the nail polish. But since I change my nails every day, a lot of times I don't mind. Um, I don't care, like I don't need the longevity. Um, some days I would just grab a tissue like something like this and then just kind of rub it off so it's not too greasy but today I feel it's extra greasy for some reason and that might cause some pulling with nail polish application so I actually think I'm gonna use nail polish remover to wipe them a little bit so I, I'm not even getting more remover this is just the cotton ball I was using earlier I just ripped a little piece off that didn't have the glitter on it and just quickly run over all my nails and yeah like that's really easy so since this polish seems like it has a lot of uh, glitters and decent sized glitters so I don't want to risk having to scrub them uh, I'm just gonna use a peel off base coat this one is from Orly it's the one night stand I really like this one um, I've only used two peel off base coats ever in my life one is the um, was it what is it called the peel big peel um, from Sally Hansen um, that one I used I think one and a half bottles of I mean that one worked really good and whatnot I like that and it's cheap but that one takes time to dry like it like right now you cannot apply nail polish on it just yet because you have to wait for this white thing to kind of go transparent to go away completely dry um, the Sally Hansen one just dries super slow, so I prefer this one just a little bit more because it dries, you know, just much faster. So because of this move, um, it's going to be right in the beginning of June we're going to move, so I, I didn't really order much nail polish uh, just this month in May. Um, especially, you know, for something like uh, Polish Pickup. They come in slow and I just can't quite predict which day it's gonna be here. So I don't know what address to give. I don't want to have anything land in between apartments. Uh, it's just, you know, I, I would rather just not buy anything and I kind of talked myself out of them. You know, like pre-orders and whatnot, like Hella Handmade Creation, they had a really gorgeous tonic polish trail for their anniversary. 
I was dying over that, but the time, the shipping time lands right in between. Like, I was just like, oh, well, we'll be between apartments. Like, I really don't know how or when it's gonna arrive and I just I can't you know so I didn't order much of those but I'm telling myself uh, it will be good because I'm going to polish con in New York <laughs> yeah that is in mid-June so we will be in our new apartment and then right away we will go to New York uh, yeah it, it's it was a little bit of a unplanned trip, I guess. They um, usually have two conventions every year. One is in the spring, like March, April-ish, and one in like the fall, September, October. The one in the fall is always in Chicago. I went to the one last year, I loved it. So last year they announced that they're gonna have a spring one in Florida, but that didn't happen. Instead, they moved it a few months back to June and then moved it to New York. I wasn't sure what happened there. And also, this one is in June, so it makes me a little bit more nervous that they might not have one in Chicago anymore this year. I don't know. Like, I feel the Polish Con organization this year is just not being, they're, they're just not on top of it. There's a lot of confusing information out there and I mean, I didn't personally reach out to the organizers. I guess if I emailed them, I could have gotten the answers I wanted. But at the same time, why wasn't anything explained on the website when you search for it? Like that, that should be the first thing, right? The event, the time, the location, and your future plans, but no, none of that. I wasn't sure if they're gonna have one in Chicago this year. So I wanted to go to the one in New York. And also at the same time, I've never been to New York, so I figure why not just make a trip out of it. And my daughter's almost two, so it would be her last time flying as a lap child kind of free with us. So I wanted to take a, you know, an advantage of it. So as I was taking a sip of my drink, um, I spilled it all over my laps and also on the carpet, so I messed up my nails quite a bit <laughs> cleaning that up. I guess we kind of have to start over now. I have to remove it and reapply the peel-off base coat. I hate this. Like, this is one of the worst things that could happen is a half-down manicure ruined or like a freshly done manicure. Ugh. Eh. Anyways, um, back to New York. So that was kind of like our decision going to New York uh, for a few days and my husband took a couple of days off of work. So we're gonna stay there for a little bit longer. And it just, things happen, right? And then, and then my in-laws called us. Uh, it turns out that they have their vacation days uh, the same week and then they wanted to see what we're doing. They want to come and visit because Everyone, uh, all the rest of the family lives in California. We're the only ones away. So, you know, when they have vacation time, they want to come this way to see us because we really only see each other like twice a year now, probably. They miss Adeline. Eventually, we decided they're going to come to Chicago because um, their vacation time is longer than ours. So we're going to spend like half of a week here with them all together. And then the other half of the week, they're going to stay here with Adeline when only me and my husband go to New York. So I guess I'm happy with that. Like, it, I really appreciate our alone time now. It's really hard because, because we don't have any friends or family when we move to Chicago. And we still don't have any family here, but we've had, you know, a few friends now. But... At the same time, like it, it was pretty hard early on when we had Adeline. We either have like paid babysitter. We had to go through quite a few babysitters too, just because we didn't know many friends either. So it's like not really a recommendation from friends or someone you can truly trust. So it, it just, we were pretty stranded um, by, you know, being alone here in Chicago with a child. So um, we really appreciate having someone taking care of her for a little while and we go on those like bigger trips. So that's more becoming like our way of getting away now. Yeah, and it seems like that's what's been happening because we went to what, Grenada 
in 2016 for a week and then we went to China uh, in 2017 we left her with my mom for like a week and me and my husband went away and um, right now we're going to New York and then coming at the end of this year again we're going to China again same thing dropping off Adeline with my mom and then me and my husband are going to Taiwan for a friend's wedding so um, I mean it works out I you know I love traveling it, it's one of my things like before we had Adeline, um, we travel so much. It's one of the big sacrifices for me, I feel, um, once we had Adeline. I mean, even with her, um, we calculated for her first year, she flew like something like 30,000 30, miles with us in her first year. It's just hard to bring a child on a plane, you know, the stuff that she needs. And also it's much slower with her because you have a stroller, like you have to find the elevator, you can't go escalator anymore, not stairs. Um, well now she walks, it's a little easier, but earlier like you have to hold her and I traveled alone with her like a few times too. It's just not easy. Um, it's still doable, but nothing ideal. So we travel less now and i really look forward to going to new york uh soon and that will be like pretty much our first getaway of the year yeah that will be amazing and if you guys are going to the polish con um and i'll be there so come and say hi i guess <laughs> i'm a little shy i'm a huge introvert and i'm not like a um I don't know I, I feel I'm probably a little bit awkward or maybe that's just the introvert part of me I don't I don't look forward to big group activities or like meeting strangers and having small talks it's just not my thing but I figure since we all love nail polish uh, we will have something to talk about naturally already right so it's probably okay um, <laughs> come and say hi and um, yeah, I would love to meet you if you're there already. So for Polish Con this year, I think I want to be a little bit more prepared because last year when I went, I realized people coming with like printed wish lists. And I was like, man, I should have done that. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research on all the brands that will be there. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I will be, I'll be super glad to know what polishes I should be getting from those brands. Um, also, I got a VIP ticket this year. The strange thing is that they have two types of VIP ticket this year. The first one, the more expensive one, is just the traditional kind. You get in early, you get a goodie bag, and it has a lot of polishes in it. Um, the other type of VIP ticket is what I got. That one is $75 cheaper, and the difference is that you wouldn't have the polishes in your bag already. They will give you like vouchers or coupons and then you will have to use those vouchers to go to each vendor and redeem them yourself so they say it's the exact same polishes it's just that they're not pre-packaged into your goodie bag and i feel for 75 dollars that's a pretty steep price for just that you know like i'm here at polish con I'm most likely to visit every vendor anyways, so it, it wouldn't, I don't think it's much trouble at all to go redeem them myself. But for $75, really? That, I don't know, like, um, I wonder if I missed something, you know? I wonder, like, what's what's your catch? Um, but <laughs> that's what I, that's the ticket that I bought. All right, so I think this is mostly dry now. I see there's like one one nail that isn't fully dry, but by the time we get to it, it's probably okay. So the base coat and top coat I'm using today is from um, Zoya. This is the Naked Manicure line. Um, those two, so we have the Naked Base and Glossy Seal. And my top coat looks really nasty because it got some other polish on there, but eh. I really like this base coat, I think it works great, and the top coat is, is okay, like it's a good one, but I probably wouldn't repurchase. It's not my preferred uh, kind. I Even just within Zoya itself, I prefer the Anchor a little bit more. I think that one is a little bit stronger and more fast drying. I think a little while back, you guys, uh, one of you guys asked me what my favorite top coat is. Um, 
I think honestly I like Insta Dry from Sally Hansen the most, the red bottle, because I think it has the best of two worlds. It's fast drying and it doesn't shrink. So my biggest problem with the fast drying top coats like Sash V or HK Girl from uh, Glinson Glow, they're super fast drying, but they shrink around the cuticle. Like it, uh, it bothers me so much. I just, I cannot deal with it. Yeah, I think Insta Dry is, is pretty fast. Um, and also it doesn't shrink. The only thing is that the bottle's so small and also like halfway, it's just not really usable anymore. I feel I'm pretty clumsy today. Uh, my hands are shaking, I don't know why. Uh, maybe because of the angle, because I have to, you know, have this camera set up here. It's not um, what I usually do the best, so that could be it. Oh, so after all the talk about moving and going to um, Polish Con, <laughs> the point I was trying to make, I just didn't get to it, right? <laughs> I was really trying to tell you guys that um, coming maybe mid-June to like late June, I might be missing a little bit on my channel. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to pre-film things, but all the pre-film stuff, they probably will get uploaded like at the beginning of June when we're actually moving. And by the time we go to PolishCon, I feel, you know, I would, I just wouldn't have anything left anymore. So, you know, there's like a delay between when you film, edit, and post it. So the actual time my channel might suffer uh, is probably gonna be a little bit later in June, uh, maybe even when I'm back from Polish Kong. So we'll, we'll, we'll see um, how that goes. I'm gonna try my best to keep up with the content and whatnot, but right now I'm trying to post like three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I never announce this. It's never like an official thing. I never tell anyone that, but that's what I, you know, try to do most of the days. Um, and occasionally I even post one more on Saturday. So hopefully I can still keep up with at least just two videos per week. Gosh, I think I'm gonna mess this up real bad now because I'm so far and it's just a weird angle. I really admire those people who do live swatches. It's not easy because you have to have the camera set at a certain place with the lighting. So you might not be able to bring your hands to the most comfortable position where you could paint them. This color is beautiful though. Look at all the glitters, it's so pretty. And the formula is definitely on the good side. I've tried so many whitish Crellies by now and I can tell when someone when something is a good one, like this one is a good one. It's pretty easy to work with. Oh, what else can we talk about? Um, there's one thing I'm, I'm still kind of debating. Um, so if you've been on my channel for a little bit, you know that I, you, I pretty much do like a giveaway every 500 subscribers. So I did one at uh, 2K and I did not do one at 2500 because I just don't know like I didn't pay attention to my channel or something like I don't know when it hit and by the time I realized I got 2500 subscribers it was already kind of too late um, and then I think I was also traveling around that time so it was just like inconvenient so I didn't do one but I felt bad so I want to do two giveaways at 3k and I was watching the number and I thought I could probably hit it before we move because um, I already have all my you know products picked out. I'm gonna do a nail polish giveaway and a makeup giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna do two to kind of make it up, right? And I have the packages kind of laid out already, but at this point I'm thinking, I don't think I can get to 3K before we move. <laughs> It's, it's just so annoying. I don't want to bring those like little packages to the new place, you know what I mean? I've already got enough on my, on my mind and I just, uh, it's so, so freaking annoying that I have to bring them. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe instead of what I would do is just do one 3K giveaway and then just do the other as a random giveaway now so that I can just ship out that one package and 
not be bothered with it. Um, I don't know. I haven't fully decided, and I want to do the nail polish giveaway now. Um, just ship it out, and I'll do the makeup one later because I still feel my channel. I'm getting a little bit more nail heavy, uh, if you couldn't tell lately. But I still consider my channel as a panning channel, like a more makeup channel. So I think it's more appropriate to do the makeup one uh, at the actual 3K. And now it would just be kind of like a random nail polish giveaway. I went out and bought a few colors too. So um, what do you guys think? Like, would that be weird? And Because I, I don't want it to come across as, oh, I'm just fishing for subscribers. I'm trying to hit 3k you know what I mean like I don't want it to be like that either so I'm still conflicted I haven't decided and I have some like nail care items and uh, nail polishes I try to not include too much nail care but more just nail polishes and I I feel that's what I would want if I win a nail polish giveaway you know I just want nail polishes so that's what I was trying to do and also I'm thinking there's one nail polish collection indie collection that I really look forward to it hasn't been released yet and I really want to get that whole collection for this winter um, but yeah <laughs> hopefully the time works out okay right like I, I don't know it's just too much to think about I haven't made up my mind yet all right, what do you think? I think that's pretty opaque. Uh, I don't really see my nail line now. I think everything looks good. Um, the white doesn't come across as white as I imagined. It looked a little bit more taupey, beige-ish. Maybe because it's too glitter heavy. Mm, I still like it. I think it's cool. But I can tell it's a little bumpy, so I'm gonna top coat it. Yeah, and that's it guys. I finished painting my nails and I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. So, uh, can I bring you closer? So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go under the sun to look at it because I feel the lighting is still a little bit on the darker side here. And I think overall it just turned out a little bit more gray than I had envisioned, but still it's a pretty one. Like I'm not complaining about it. That's about it. Um, oh no, oh, what's wrong with me? See, like, I'm just clumsy today. Stop touching things. I need to go. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. I know this is long and chatty. And yeah. Love you guys. Bye.